African American English AAE, also known as Black English in North American linguistics, is the set of English dialects primarily spoken by most black people in North America. Most commonly, it refers to a dialect continuum ranging from African American vernacular English to a more standard English. African American English shows variations such as in vernacular versus standard forms, rural versus urban characteristics, features specific to singular cities or regions only, and other sociolinguistic criteria. There has also been a significant body of African American literature and oral tradition for centuries. African American English began as early as the 17th century, when the Atlantic slave trade brought African slaves into the majority white culture of British colonial North America in an area that became the southern United States in the late 18th century. During the development of plantation culture in this region, non-standard dialects of English were widely spoken by British settlers, as well as likely some creolized varieties, resulting in second-language English varieties developed by African Americans. The 19th century's evolving cotton plantation industry greatly contributed to spread of some of the first of these varieties as native and stable forms of English, ancestors of modern African American vernacular English. Topic: <laughs> African American vernacular English. African American vernacular AAVE is the native variety of the vast majority of working and middle class African Americans, particularly in urban areas, with its own unique accent, grammar, and vocabulary features. Typical features of the grammar include a zero copula, e.g., she my sister instead of she's my sister, simplification of the possessive form, e.g., my mama friend instead of my mom's friend, and complexification of verb aspects and tenses beyond those of other English dialects, e.g., constructions like I'm a run, I be running, I been running, I done ran, etc. Common features of the phonology include non-roticity dropping the R sound at the end of syllables, the metathetic use of AKS instead of ask, simplification of diphthongs e.g., I typically sounds like A, ah, a raising chain shift of the front vowels, and a wider range of intonation or melody patterns than most general American accents. AAVE is used by middle-class African Americans in casual, intimate, and informal settings as one end of a socio-cultural language continuum, and AAVE shows some slight variations by region or city. <laughs> African American Standard English African American Standard English is the prestigious end of the middle class African American language continuum, used for more formal, careful, or public settings than AAVE. This variety exhibits standard English vocabulary and grammar but often retains certain elements of the unique AAVE accent, with intonational or rhythmic features maintained more than phonological ones. Most middle class African Americans are typically bi dialectal between this standard variety and AAVE, learning the former variety through schooling, so that adults will frequently even code switch between the two varieties within a single conversation. Of the phonological features maintained in this standard dialect, they tend to be less marked features that, for instance, even appear in some white standard dialects of English. One such characteristic is the omission of the final consonant in word final consonant clusters, so words such as past or hand may lose their final consonant sound. <laughs> African American Appalachian English The small numbers of black Appalachian Americans have been reported as increasingly accommodating to the Appalachian, southern dialect commonly associated with white Appalachians. These similarities include an accent that is rhotic, the categorical use of the grammatical construction, he works, or she goes, rather than the AAVE, he work, and she go, an Appalachian vocabulary such as Irish for windy. However, even African American English in Appalachia is diverse, with African American women linguistically divided along socio cultural lines, culturally conservative and proper. Church goers tending to use more Appalachian regional features, but porch sitters affiliated with nationwide black youth culture and music tending to use more AAVE features. <laughs> African American Outer Banks English 
African American English in the North Carolina Outer Banks is rapidly accommodating to urban AAVE through the recent generations, despite having aligned with local Outer Banks English for centuries. <laughs> Older African American English Older or earlier African American English refers to a set of many heterogeneous varieties studied and reconstructed by linguists as theoretically spoken by the first African Americans and African slaves in the United States. Of primary interest is the direct theoretical predecessor to AAVE. Mainly four types of sources have been used for the historical reconstruction of older AAVE, written interviews, ex-slave audio recordings, the modern diaspora dialects of isolated black communities, and letters written by 18th and 19th century African Americans. The use of the zero copula the absence of as or are, as in she gonna leave, non-standard plural forms the three man, mons, or even mens and multiple negatives as in no one didn't leave me nothing were occasional or common variants in these earlier dialects, and the latter item even the preferred variant in certain grammatical contexts. Other non-standard grammatical constructions associated with AAVE are documented in older dialects too, however, many of them are not, evidently being recent innovations of 20th-century urban AAVE. <laughs> Gullah Sea Island Creole English, or Gullah, is the distinct language of some African Americans along the South Carolina and Georgia coast. Gullah is an English Creole, a natural language grammatically independent from English that uses mostly English vocabulary. Most Gullah speakers today probably form a continuum with the English language. A sub-dialect of Gullah is also spoken in Oklahoma and Texas, known as Afro-Seminole Creole. In literature There is a long tradition of representing the speech of blacks in American literature. A number of researchers have looked into the ways that American authors have depicted the speech of black characters, investigating how black identity is established and how it connects to other characters. Brash X argues that early mass media portrayals of black speech are the strongest historical evidence of a separate variety of English for blacks. Early popular works are also used to determine the similarities that historical varieties of black speech have in common with modern AAVE. The earliest depictions of black speech came from works written in the 18th century, primarily by white authors. A notable exception is Clotel, the first novel written by an African American, William Wells Brown. Depictions have largely been restricted to dialogue and the first novel written entirely in AAVE was June Jordan's His Own Wear 1971, though Alice Walker's epistolary novel The Color Purple is a much more widely known work written entirely in AAVE. Lorraine Hansberry's 1959 play A Raisin in the Sun also has near-exclusive use of AAVE. The poetry of Langston Hughes uses AAVE extensively. Some other notable works that have incorporated representations of black speech with varying degrees of perceived authenticity include Edgar Allan Poe, The Gold Bug, 1843; Herman Melville, Moby Dick, 1851; Harriet Beecher Stowe, Uncle Tom's Cabin, 1851 to 1852; Joel Chandler Harris, Uncle Remus, 1880. Mark Twain, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, 1885. Thomas Nelson Page, In Old Virginia, 1887. Thomas Dixon, The Klansman, 1905. William Faulkner, The Sound and the Fury, 1929. Margaret Mitchell, Gone with the Wind, 1936. Zora Neale Hurston, Their Eyes Were Watching God, 1937. William Faulkner, Go Down, Moses, 1942. John Kennedy Toole, A Confederacy of Dunces, 1980. Sapphire, Push, A Novel, 1996 as there is no established spelling system for AAVE, depicting it in literature is instead often done through spelling changes to indicate its phonological features, or to contribute to the impression that AAVE is being used I dialect. More recently, authors have begun focusing on grammatical cues, and even the use of certain rhetorical strategies. Portrayals of black characters in movies and television are also done with varying degrees of authenticity. 
In Imitation of Life 1934, the speech and behavioral patterns of Delilah an African -American character are reminiscent of minstrel performances that set out to exaggerate stereotypes, rather than depict black speech authentically. More authentic performances, such as those in the following movies and TV shows, occur when certain speech events, vocabulary, and syntactic features are used to indicate AAVE usage, often with particular emphasis on young, urban African Americans. Do the Right Thing 1989. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air 1990 Jungle Fever 1991. Laurel Avenue 1993. Fresh 1994 The Best Man 1999 The Wire 2002 to 2008 Topic In Education Non-standard African American varieties of English have been stereotypically associated with a lower level of education and low social status since the 1960s, however, linguists have demonstrated that each of these varieties, and namely African American vernacular English, is a legitimate, rule governed, and fully developed dialect. The techniques used to improve the proficiency of African American students learning standard written English have sometimes been similar to that of teaching a second language. Contrastive analysis is used for teaching topics in African American vernacular English. Both the phonological and syntactic features of a student's speech can be analyzed and recorded in order to identify points for contrast with standard American English. Another way AAE can be taught is based on a strategy, communicative flexibility, that focuses on language used at home and analyzes speech during dramatic play. Using this method, children are taught to recognize when say is being used and in which occasions, rather than conforming to the speech around them in order to sound correct. Although the stigmatization of AAE has continued, AAE remains because it has functioned as a social identity marker for many African Americans. The goal with teaching say is not to end its use, but to help students differentiate between settings where its use is and is not appropriate. Topic. See also Africanisms Code switching Dialects of North American English English-based Creole languages Glossary of Jive Talk Gullah language Habitual B Is leveling Jive filter Scientific racism Languages of the United States Sociolinguistics Southern American English Topic. Citations Topic. References Topic. Further reading Delpit, Lisa, Dowdy, Joanne Kilger 2002, The Skin That We Speak, Thoughts on Language and Culture in the Classroom, New York, New Press, ISBN 1-56584-544-7 McDormand, Richard E. 2012. Understanding African American English, a course in language comprehension and cross-cultural understanding for advanced English language learners in the United States. PDF. Retrieved 8 October 2012. Nunberg, Jeffrey Double Standards. Natural Language and Linguistic Theory, 15 667-675, doi, 10.1023, a, 1,005,815,614,064, retrieved 4 March 2010 Ubere, Alondra Black English Vernacular and Educability, a Cross-Cultural Perspective on Language, Cognition, and Schooling. African American Web Connection. Retrieved 4 March 2010. Patrick, Peter L. 2007. A Bibliography of Works on African American English. University of Essex. Retrieved 4 March 2010. Pollock, K., Bailey, G., Bernie, Fletcher, Hinton, L. N., Johnson, Roberts, Weaver. 1998. Phonological Features of African American Vernacular English. AAVE. Child Phonology Laboratory. University of Alberta. Retrieved 4 March 2010. 
Rickford, John R. December 1996. Notes and Discussion. Retrieved 4 March 2010. Rickford, John R. Rickford, Angela E. 1995. Dialect Readers Revisited. Linguistics and Education, 7 107-128, doi, 10.1016-0898-5898-95-90003-9. Signal, Jack. African American Vernacular English Abonics". Archived from the original on 10 February 2010. Retrieved 4 March 2010.